nightmares and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn elithids. The pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. Your tadpole burns in your brain. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. of a mind is a terrible thing, but this time, I think I'll make an exception. My powers, they're draining, just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. We've won, but at what cost? The mangled rhymes the bards will make of your name. Mm, perhaps those are the true evil here. The tadpoles must have died with the brain. <sighs> the threat of ceramorphosis is no more. Of course, no slight intended towards your form. Even when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity, 
when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakith's chains. Enough talk. Give me my freedom. Freedom from this form. The Githyanki take flight. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Gionthal. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. With the crown in my hands, I would be unstoppable. The casts I weave would be mine to command. I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. Want, need, deserve. Choose whatever word you prefer, but it is what I'm going to do. Mistra has dictated the terms of my potential for long enough. The crown would grant me control of my own destiny at last. Think of all I could achieve. All that I could grant to those whose ambitions are restrained by Mistra's yoke. I could raise a new netherrealm. Right here in Faerun. It's I who should be saying such things. Do not think I leave you without a heart as heavy as your own. But I owe it to myself to follow where destiny leads. I'll never forget you. That I promise. 
If you ever felt differently, there will be a place waiting for you in the heavens. I shall miss him, though I hope he proves to be a kindly god. I've had my fill of the tyrannical sort, though I hope he has the metal needed to face Mistra. She will not yield willingly, I fear. A new chapter awaits. Let us make haste. Well and good, but enough of that. What now? My hamster is hungry. Not just the city. Imagine the swathe of destruction the Absolute armies will have caused. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh no! Oh God! Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted! Ah! I, I'm sorry! I, I have to go! You will sorely miss that freedom, I sense. It may be quite some time before we see him again. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? So are you, my friend, my companion. I adore you.
For the first time, you feel alone, calm. You breathe. Baal may have been your beginning, but he will not be your end. Of all those you killed in your father's name, one lingers in your mind even now. Alfira, the bard of the Emerald Grove. Her death weighs upon you still. A burden you will carry for the rest of your days. But fortunately, you will not have to carry it alone. Hello, darling. I was just thinking about... Freedom. How I'm free of the parasite. Free of Cazador. How I'll never be in someone's power again. And all it cost was my life in the sun. <laughs> now I belong to the shadows. So, what happens next? True, the spawn will need someone to lead them, otherwise they'll just be a murderous, blood-sucking horde. Although, <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice you said we should find them. Is that what you want? Is this what you want? I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. Good, because, selfless as I am, I really did not want to let you go. We are rather excellent together, you know. And united, there is nothing we can't do. I can't say what the future holds for us, but I know we'll be facing it together. And we're going to have a lot of fun.